Welcome back, my friends. Another fun day in Team Legacy. Training, making my work hard. Why am I wearing this? It's a video, okay. Are you guys ready to train? Yes, sir. All right, these guys are ready. Are you guys ready? All right, I can't hear. Oh, yeah, that's right, you're right here. Okay, we're training for you. Are you guys ready? Coaches are ready. Fighting stance, right like that. Okay, we're gonna start out with a nice, easy front stretch up and outside pressing kick. Coaches, let's show them at least one time. One. Front stretch up, outside pressing kick. We're stretching the entirety of our leg from the front, the back, and the side. Are we ready, coaches? Here we go. On my count, you guys let us do. Don't just watch us. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sydney's trying to hit me. Eight. Nine, ten, 
Fantastic. Breathe. Let's stretch our necks, guys. Nice and loose. Big stretch. Don't crack the lagging. There we go. Breathe. Good. Stretch your arms out. Let's get those arms going. Let them flow. Little, little butterflies, big butterflies, whatever you want to do. Let's rotate them. Shoulders going. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. We're going to finish off with a very fun front kicking drill. Are you guys ready for the challenge? Okay, we're going to do our front kick, hitch kick, and jumping front kick. I call these karate kicks. So let me do this without breaking myself. Here we go. Ready? Let's try it together. Ready? Front kick, hitch kick, jumping front kick. Awesome. Are you ready, coaches? We're going to rip through these. We're going to do five each side. Can you handle it? Red, ready. Front kick, hitch kick, jumping front kick. Awesome. Bring it back. Bring it back. Two. Front kick. Students, welcome back. We are going over some amazing techniques for our advanced students. One that's very common that we really hit our first major kick outside the spinning back kick in the advanced section is going to be our crescent kicks. How we make them function, how we let them flow. We're going to break down this first one and make it nice and easy for a good combination. Coaches, are you ready? I got Coach Tristan, Coach Bree with me, fighting stance. Nice and good. So we're going to go really simple with this one. The back leg is going to initiate the first kick. A inside crescent kick, a kick that's coming from the outside, attacking the inside. So check it out. We're coming in, inside crescent kick. From this position, we're raising the leg, almost like we're doing a front stretch, and bringing it all the way back out. Outside crescent kick. Now see how our body's starting to turn? We're going to pivot like right? we're throwing a spinning back kick, and raise and lift that leg up nice and easy. So let's watch our coaches do this real quick, okay? Nice and easy with us, okay? First one is inside crescent kick on the back leg. Notice the foot position. They're set and they're ready to go. Hands are in position. Now we're going to go right back to the same position by raising. Now, we're going to turn our bodies as we're going like a spinning back kick. We're going to whip that same leg all the way up and over, retreating back to our initial position. Notice we keep going back to the same spot, okay? So, one more time, nice and slow, and then we're going to do some reps with this, okay guys? Here we go. So, from a front stance position, nice and solid, inside crescent kick, feet come together, nice and corner, nice and square. Now we're going to go back to the same position by outside crescent kick on the way out. Now, turning our body one more revolution and whip it, lift and stand the leg, boom! Spinning outside crescent kick. Fantastic. You ready, coaches? All right, we're going to do five each leg, okay? Stay nice and sharp. Remember, raising the leg up. This is a great stretch technique as well. So keep that leg up and your foot is facing vertical. Remember that, advanced students. Here we go. Ready? We're going to count one, two, and three for each combination. Okay, ready? One. Position. Two and three. Fantastic. One, two, and three. Fantastic. That's two guys. Three, two, and three. Fantastic. Four, two, and three. Nice lift. Five, two, and three. Fantastic. Switch your feet. All right. We're feeling nice and loose. Feeling good. Okay. Other side. Let's break it down one more time. Remember, back leg swinging in. Notice our, our hips are in position. Ready, we're gonna pull that back leg all the way back around. Now, one last turn and spinning outside. Fantastic, are we ready? Here we go, ready? One, two, and three. Awesome, two, two, and three. Fantastic, three, two, and three. Good, four, two, Fantastic. Now, if you love doing 
Crescent kicks and spinning all over the place. There's a lot of really fun ones we can do, guys. There's a whole bunch of different ones, but we can also utilize a crescent kick as a fantastic technique. Now look at this situation. This is not super common. This is just when you come right here. Inside the crescent kick is fantastic. If you've got some guy you've seen in the movies, I got the knife, boom! He's kicking that in and out. What's he like I've heard before? Side kick to the body, and I still have some leg in me. Oh! Finish the job. Like a movie theater scene, that's what we're looking for. So that's the next combination, guys. We're going to do our inside crescent kick. Inside crescent kick, low over side kick. Big side kick. Keep our body open. Spinning back kick, nice and solid. One more time, guys. So remember, let's look at the theme. Let's make it real. Three, are you ready? Here we go. I'm going. I'm getting rocks. Watch out. He's coming in. Ready? I'm the bad guy with the knife. She cares and kicks. Bam! Kicks her I should keep my hand. Let's do it. Can she do it? Let's see. Kick my hand, my friend. Up! Kick my hand. Take it to the body. Finish it up. Fantastic. Guys, is this real? Sure. We're wearing boots. Hey, those boots are made for kicking knives out of people's hands, okay? And walking too. Okay, let's do this combination. Ready? Remember, let's call out inside crescent kick. We're ready, loaded for side kick. Turn and pivot, spinning back kick. Amazing job, get ready. We're hitting this one, two, three, just like we did before. Five on each side, let's go, ready? One, two, three. Great job, retreat back. Two, two, three. Awesome, here we go. Three, crescent, side kick, spinning back kick. What a combination, ready? Get this one all the way home. I'm gonna do the jaw. Let's try this one. Ready? Five! Tight! Yeah! Amazing! I hurt my leg. Get my good again. <laughs> Guys, Coach Mike is dealing with a little aggravated leg right now. Doesn't make me aggravated. Just my leg's mad. I promise. Okay, opposite side. Put your feet. So left leg is now going to inside press and kick. Side kick. Spinning back kick. Beautiful technique, my friends. Let's look at this all together. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, three, spin all over the place. Woo. Watch out. She's coming at you with a tornado here. Ready? One, same leg, side kick. And other leg, back kick. Good job. Okay? Two, big kick, big kick, and big kick. Good job. I think we're at four now. I, I can't count anymore. Ready? Four, side kick, and back kick. Final one. Let's get this last one out. Let's make it the best one here. And five, crescent kick, side kick, spinning back kick. Hey guys, let's do two more. Let's see how fast we can get done, shall we? All right, ready? Hup. Boom, 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 get it, get it. Hup. Woo, it's a cool kick, my friends. Let's do it on the right side. I'm gonna try one with you guys. Last one, if I hurt my leg. Okay? Hup. We are here, we're ready for the final technique that we're gonna look at today. Little complex move, but we're combining two of the most challenging moves because they're not as common as you think, but if done effectively, they're super powerful. And that is our X block into our elbow strike, right here. And the reason why there's a lot of different hand positions, like a chogi kata, this is one of our more advanced katas, this is a warang, but we use our X block in several of our advanced katas, and even some of our beginner katas. If you have four, it's a pretty early kata, but we're already utilizing an X block. And I want to break down what the whole point of the X block is. Okay, so let's look at it from this position here. From the standard X block, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a normal stance here, and we're gonna step forward, left arm on top, and we're gonna step in a deep X block low. One, driving straight down. Now, the concept of the aspect is you're trying to catch the foot and block it in a way that it's trying to strike you to the lower abdomen. The groin shot, it's a dangerous spot, but hey, I'm trying to get away close to trying to block that to the groin. The biggest thing is the depth of our step. Left arm on top, and I'm framing across my body and crossing those arms tightly in front. So we're gonna do both sides of this just to get it. So when I'm stepping with my left foot, one hand's on top. Left side, strong side, left side, okay. So we're gonna start out, our hands right at our hips, right here, and as I'm stepping forward, drive that hand down. Now, our posture, we don't wanna be like this. 
Bending over, we want a nice and strong posture up, a low stance. We're gonna do five on each side, okay my friends? This is a fantastic strength move using both sections of our muscles on both sides, really solid. From Jumi stance, load, and once. Nice and strong, good posture, load back. Hands to the side, two. Good, X block. Bring it back, three. Make sure your front stance is locked in. Pull back, four. Nice and strong, pull back, five. Posture up, nice and strong. We're gonna switch sides, it's gonna get weird, okay? What side, if we're gonna step on my right side, what leg, my right and my what? Right and right, left on that side, okay? Right on top, left on the bottom, ready? Load it up, one, nice and strong, good. Bring it back, two, good. Bring it back, three, good. Four, five, eight, good. Now, here, let's look at some of the mechanics. We've done our drill, now let's look at the aspect of it. What I'm doing is when I'm pulling in, I'm pulling with both my arms together, and I'm driving that down. All my muscles in my chest, my arms, you guys feel that? Your chest, your arms, everything. Pulling in and locking, creating a real solidified defense on both sides. Now, the elbow strike. Okay, let's break this down nice and easy for you, okay? We're gonna just do the left side at first, and we'll work the right side. You can work on your own, but right now we're gonna focus on the left side, because this is actually the part that's in our cut. Okay, from the Jumbi stance, we're gonna fold for our X block. Big X block here. Now, watch, my right hand that's on the bottom is going to turn inside and cup, just like our Chobi Katas. The tips of the fingers are loading on top of the knuckle because this is gonna be a driving point. As I step forward into a horse stance, I'm pushing that forward. Watch my hands this way, okay? Hooking in, drive. I'm almost like I'm pushing, this hand is helping drive that elbow forward, okay? In and over, so when I'm turning my body, let's look at just the legs here. I'm stepping up and I'm going boom, all the way to the side. Okay, I don't want to step in the front stance here because my elbow is not going to be weird and I don't want to be in the back stance either because I'm in kind of a weird spot, okay? From here, Jumbi stance, load up, X block, boom, nice and strong. Now load, tips onto the knuckles right there. Load up in a back stance. I'm sorry, horse stance, what am I saying? Nice and strong. Okay, let's try this again. Now what does a horse look like? It's a fat horse. You don't want a skinny horse. You want a fat horse that you're sitting on because it can take you much further. If it's skinnier than you, you're in trouble. You're not going to go very far. No skinny horses. Okay, Jumi. Fold. X block. Boom. Load. Step up. Hey, God. Nice strong with that elbow. Fantastic. Good form, guys. Let's watch you do it. I want to check out your technique. You guys are awesome. Fold. X block. Strong. Load. And step up. Good. Look at this point, guys, that point of that elbow where Coach Trips is gonna drive right into the xyphoid process of the solar plexus right there. Don't know what xyphoid process is? Google it. I think it's with an X. I don't know. Google it, it's exciting. Okay, let's rip through five on this side. You guys ready? Jumbi, four, one, load it, two. Nice and strong, bring it back. Fold it up, ready, load it. X plus one. Strong elbow strike. Load it up and load it. X block one and two. Awesome guys. Two more guys. Here we go. Jumbi. Load and X block strong and big elbow strike. One more for the road, my friends. Jumbi. Fold. X block strong and big elbow strike. Lock it in. Fantastic, my friends. Great job. This is one of those moves that you think not be something you'd ever use in a real situation. But you never know. Katas have their application in all aspects. You see you're in a spot and all of a sudden you see this guy's coming at you and you just, ah, you step in. Elbow strikes, see what happened. He tried to use his X block with my elbow counter. <laughs> that was totally accidental, guys, okay? But you see how those kind of moves, someone's coming in at you, they're trying to grab you. That elbow right into the center of the arm. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to think about that. That person. Okay, guys, great training today. Let's now go into our kata portion. 
where we're going to focus on all. Guys, you guys are advanced. All your beginner guys. Dang Hoon, Pyongyang 2. Pyong on four in its entirety. If you're a green belt, you should be doing all your old katas plus your new ones. If you're a, if you're a black belt, whatever, guys, you should be doing all your katas multiple times a day. After that, self defense drills. If you don't have a partner at home, we film solo drills for you. Train them, work them, make them part of you. If you can do it solo, you can do it for real. If you can't do it solo and you can't explain the move to yourself. You don't have the full grasp on yet. So guys, practice, practice, practice. Choke out a teddy bear, it's okay. It's allowed. Wait, don't choke out the teddy bear, they have feelings too. Okay, guys, great job today. We'll see you soon. Until next week, fight it